Hello, I'm Interghost, and today I'll be reviewing the first Dan Dare game on the ZX Spectrum, Pilot of the Future, from 1986. So this was first released by Virgin Games Limited for £9.95 back in 1986. And then it was re-released on the budget range for £1.99 by a company called Ricochet, who bought it out on two different covers. This is part of a trilogy, um, however the only country which brought the game out on a double cassette like this was um, Drosoft, but that was a European game and it was released in Spain. Like I said, it's part of the trilogy, so you've got Dan Dare Pilot of the Future. This was followed by Dan Dare 2, Mekon's Revenge in 1988. And then the final part in the series, Dan Dare 3, The Escape, was released in 1990. So it was three games over a four year period. So if we just start the game now, and as you can see it's set out like the comic book. So you've got Dan flying in his uh, ship. So if I just show you this, this is the map of the whole game. It doesn't look um, like a very big game. But as you see uh, in a minute when I play through it, you have to keep running backwards and forwards through the different screens over and over again to complete the game. So this is quite a large map. So here is the main game in the comic book style. You are Dan Dare and you're on the uh, asteroid base. So basically what's, what the uh, story behind the game is is the uh, the main en enemy of Dan Dare is Mekon. He wants to destroy the Earth. So Dan and his psychic um, Digby fly their ship which is called the Anastasia to his asteroid base and he has to try and destroy the base before the time runs out at the bottom there and the Mekon destroys the Earth. So it's a race against time. You don't actually have lives in this game. You just have to complete the game within the time limit. So these foot sh uh, soldiers which are following you around, they're actually called trains in the comic. What I just picked up there is the first part of the um, explosive device which you need to blow up this base. And there's five parts in the whole game. So what I do is if I uh, just put this part into the reactor, which is down here, and then I'll speed through the rest of the game where the other five parts are. So if I just show you an uh, advert which was around back in the 80s of the game, and now I'll play through the game up until the last level. And as you can see, I've got the uh, final detonation device, which I need to complete the game. So once you've inserted that into the machine, you can follow the um, game onto the left here. And um, you have 11, 11 minutes to escape from the base before it explodes. So just to mention at the bottom there, you've got your um, health bar and your laser power. So just about to complete the game now and here I believe is the most scariest sound in a game coming up now And that's the end of the game. Hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, I'll be doing more in the future. Any suggestions, let me know. Please leave comments and rate my games. And hopefully you will subscribe. I'll leave you with a comic strip which was given out with the game when it was released.